You know when people say that made in Italy represents us to the world, that saying is alive at a place like this, because these are all Maseratis ready for export. It represents the strength of a luxury brand that has made motoring history, a history that was made here at the Moderna plant over the last 80 years. There are very few places like this where cars are still assembled by hand, and so we decided to pay a visit. These red brick walls and these lines saw the genesis of the models that made the history of the Trident brand from the end of the 30s to the beginning of the 2000s. Then came the internationalization of the brand, the growth of the range with the Ghibli, the Quattropote and the Levante. The historical plant of the Vialo Sierra Minotto was dedicated to symbolic cars that today are called Gran Turismo and Gran Cabrio. These exclusive models are assembled strictly by hand because here, unlike like in other factories, automation is kept to a minimum. There's only one robot here, it's for windshield extrusion, which requires applying the adhesive with millimeter precision. The production process follows the classic methods of manufacturing. Components that arrive from external suppliers just in time are assembled. In the case of Maserati, for example, these fantastic V8s are made at Maranello, but Ferrari always paints the bodywork. In Moderna, however, people have special roles that go beyond the concept of a worker, and that can't be simply described as an assembly line. This factory, it's really called a workshop. As you know, Maserati was founded in Bologna in 1914. After 25 years, it moved here to Modena. Later, this plant started producing cars for private customers. Since then, we've always produced cars in the same way, using only people. In the workshop, you'll have noticed that there's no important equipment to perform the work instead of people. The human being is at the center of our workshop. All operations are carried out with care by employees who have high processing times. A large production plant has very low cycle times. Workers repeat the same operation each minute. But here, instead you find people who work half an hour on the car and to call them workers is an understatement. They are real technicians. They know the cars inside out and treat them as if they were their own. The difference is anything but subtle and allows the plant an extraordinary level of flexibility, so much so that on a single assembly line, the same technicians are able to assemble two different models. In addition to the Gran Turismo and the Gran Cabrio, the Alpha 4C Coupe and Spider are also made here. The levels of complexity are very different depending on the car. Just think it takes 30 minutes to put seats into a Gran Turismo, and each car has very specific customization requirements depending on the target market or customer requests, which know no limits by definition. It's enough to take a look around the official Maserati showroom to understand this. Between the upholstery, rims, brake calipers, colors and technical specifications, we're talking about over 400,000 different combinations without counting special requests. Our people's experience is crucial to achieving this, as well as the processes which are the defined sequences for all assembly and fitting operations that follow the world-class manufacturing methodologies common to most modern plants of the FCA group. Have you ever wondered when a car's tank is first filled with gas? Well here, it happens in the factory. We put 35 litres for the first ignition and for the road tests. And if just hearing the factory new engine turn over for the first time has a certain effect, listening to a modernese V8 startup when it comes out of the assembly line takes your breath away. After this moment, the freshly baked Maseratis must pass strict quality controls. It couldn't be any other way for high-performance cars that are worth more than 100,000 euros. Besides the spectacular water test for testing the car's water tightness in 10 minutes, there is the bench test. 
first vibrating to check the quality of the assemblies, and then the roller bench test for initial engine performance checks. But the road test is even more delicate, for which the so-called functional tester comes into play. All in all, we have two hours available. It's a two-hour window in which we have to test all the functional aspects of the car, both dynamic and static, and anything that might strike the customer, such as the simple operation or movement of the windows, or its speed on the road, how the car handles when cornering or braking, any aspect the customer will encounter. Our job also consists of treating the car in the best possible way. We have, in short, a car that is new, highly prestigious and costly, and we must always imagine we're the proud owners of our own cars, and therefore we must be extremely careful stay far away from the vehicles ahead to avoid risking damage from stones on the bonnets and windshields and also when handling and using the cars getting in getting out looking for any way to avoid damage It's all a question of sensitivity, as well as attention, and in this case too, it's the experience of our people that makes a difference. The quality controls, of course, extend to the surfaces of the car, including the paintwork, to remedy any imperfections. Perhaps a precious, opaque, multi-layer shade requires another trip through the oven to repair. And the same is true for the leather, alcantara or fabric trim and for the Grand Cabrio hood, or for the aluminium, carbon and wood finishes. Every car is different from the next, and requires maniacal human attention. It takes experience, as we've already said, but we also need passion. The women and men who work here in Modena have had it in their DNA for the last 80 years. It's a special relationship that links people to the company, that can only be understood by meeting a special person, who's worked at Maserati for 66 years, and declares himself infected by tridentitis. At Maserati, there's always been an atmosphere that you won't find in other factory in Modena. While our cousins had a despot who knew everything about everyone because he pulled all the strings, played one against the other, letting out his frustration on you no holds barred, and he knew everything about everyone, with us, there's always been a much more human climate, an environment that you wouldn't find in other factory. And we owe this to the Maserati brothers. There was a journalist from Il Littorio, a fascist newspaper. He was a fascist who wrote a beautiful phrase when Alfieri died. His boys watched over him all night, hoping that their master would wake up to say what the bond was between the employer and the employees. Understand? He was really a soul. He was a soul, he was family. And he started talking about the Ruggeri family when Alfieri had that accident in Messina in... 27 or 28 when he stayed in hospital. He sent a telegram to the Gazzetta dello Sport. Thank heavens our family is still safe because Alfieri is out of danger, etc. And so they were talking about families already when they were a workshop of 20 people. This bond has always remained and when they came to Modena, they dragged their employees with them and they stayed in Modena because they had a 10-year contract, starting in 1939. But the contract was made in 1937, and the move from Bologna to Modena happened in September, October and November of 1939. When they returned to Bologna in 1948, this way of doing things, this way of thinking, this way of acting, this close contact with the employees, much closer than in Bologna, was intrinsic because these people attacked us young people who arrived when they started to enlarge and reorganize the car department in 49, 50. From 1950 to 52, the Technical Institute of Modena was all the technicians of Ferrari, Maserati, Lamborghini, Fiat, etc. They all came from the Corny Technical Institute in Modena. Do you understand? As a result, these people infected us with their Ill illness, their way of doing things, their hierarchies. They would even tell us to get lost, but the next morning, we were closer than before, understand? Because the discussions, the, the human race, that's how it is. 
you have an idea, I have an idea, we fight back, and afterwards, that's how it is. Do you understand? Times had changed without a doubt, but a part of this spirit has been handed down to the present day and will be a precious resource when facing a transformation. In this plant, in 2020, a new sports car will be made. The heir to the Gran Turismo, produced up to now in 40,000 units, the last of which came off the line on the 11th of November 2019. We don't know yet if the new model will be called the Alfieri, but it is certain that it will also be electric for the first time in our history. The technological challenge is enormous, but what's certain is that the women and men at Maserati will work with the same dedication as always. All this is the Made in Modena Maserati, a special factory that's preparing for an important change with a promise. The new era of electrification will not put the craftsmanship that goes into these cars and their ability to generate emotion into question.